They're number one for podcasts again. The latest from our daily newsletter at podnews.net. SXM Media is once more number one for podcasts, according to Edison Podcast Metrics data for the 12 months ending quarter three, 22. Spotify is down to number two, while iHeartMedia is number three. The data was produced by surveying 11,675 listeners from across the US. And SXM Media truly is out of this world. The company's owner, SiriusXM, has just ordered the company's 12th and 13th satellites from Maxar. In Sweden, consumers are expected to have spent 14.5 million US dollars this year on podcast subscriptions, and the podcast ad market is worth 34.5 million, according to research by MediaVision and the Institute for Ad Measurement. If the US market was the same by population, that would suggest $319 million worth of subscription revenues and $759 million worth of ad revenue. Today, Sounds Profitable releases the first ever study of brand safety and suitability from the listener's perspective called Safe and Sound. The webinar starts at 1pm Eastern Time and it's free. You'll find a link in our show notes and our newsletter today. Pocket Casts has raised its annual subscription price by 41 cents a month. The annual price changes from 9.99 to 14.99 US dollars. Radio Public Pro is to discontinue for $12 a month. The product offered enhanced podcast websites, an enhanced embedded player and a tipping service. The free service, Radio Public Basic, will continue. The company has been owned by Acast since February 2021. Audacity 3.2.2 is now available. The newest version of this popular free audio editor enables the use of VST2 plugins as real-time effects. Double Elvis has announced a new music history podcast, History Listen Rock, which will launch in early January. It'll be hosted by Grammy-winning artist St. Vincent. The finalists of the Signal Awards have been announced. You can vote for the Listener's Choice Award on the website until December the 22nd. Audio ad company Target Spot is expanding to Saudi Arabia, the United Arab Emirates, Turkey and Morocco. After announcing yesterday it was leaving Nova, here's where DM Podcasts are going. They've announced a new partnership with Listener. In Manchester in the UK, a podcast is to be made by arts organisation Art With Heart, working with Manchester artists, primary schools and the City Council. And a lot of people wanted us to write guest posts about what the future of podcasting was. But we thought we'd ask ChatGPT to write something instead. The AI program tells us that we can look forward to more audiobooks, increased consumption using smart speakers, and, perhaps unsurprisingly, more use of artificial intelligence. In People News, Cathy Doyle is to leave Macmillan Publishers. She'd worked for the company for 11 years as VP of Podcasting and more recently VP of Content Development. She'll focus on consultancy, starting with a podcast strategy for Hire Heroes USA. And Klaus Thun has joined Podimo as Global Director of Programming. He'd worked for nearly 10 years for iTunes and Apple Music and joins from Epidemic Sound. He'd also worked at Carlsberg. And in podcast news, Flex and Froome on CADA, a podcast and radio show from an Australian radio station, has hit one million downloads within the first six months. The show's also been recognised by Podcast Awards and by Vogue magazine. Irish horror fiction podcast Petrified starts up again in January with some additions to the cast list. Actor Cecil Baldwin, best known for voicing Cecil Palmer in the cult hit podcast Welcome to Night Vale, and New York filmmaker Larry Fessenden are the first American actors to join the cast of the award-winning podcast. Acast and Self Financial have launched Self, a six-part branded podcast series. In each episode, they'll highlight real stories from diverse voices about challenging their own relationships with money to build a better future for themselves, their loved ones and their communities. And Undetermined is new from Tenderfoot TV and Resonate Recordings, an investigative podcast into the case of 42-year-old Jessica Easterly Durning, who went missing from her New Orleans home in 2019 and whose death is still officially classified as undetermined. 
And that's the latest from our daily newsletter. To read all the stories and subscribe, we're at podnews.net.